How's it going, guys? Today, I'm wanting to go over my six top crankbait choices. Where, if I only could choose, if I could have just six in my tackle box, which ones would I use? I wanted to go with five, but it was it was just too hard to choose between the fifth one. So I'm going to go over my six favorite crankbaits. And some of them are a specific color. And these are not specifically for bass or crappie or white bass or whatever. They're just for any multi-species. So my number one is the Bandit 200. And it's called Metal Flake. That is my number one to-go crankbait. The reason is, that's what I caught my eight pound hybrid striper on and I've caught probably 20, 15 inch crappies. Uh, I've caught some, just some real giants, a lot of giant four or five pound large now. Bandit 200 series, metal flake. Uh, usually not found in the stores. Um, I don't remember where I even get a bat. It's not at Bass Pro or Cabela's either. And I don't think that color is anyway. I get it from a, a place out of North Dakota. Alright, my number two would be I get it unhooked here. The Storm Smash Shad. And the color is called Cheap Sunglasses. It is purple, green, silver, blue, gold, and red on the bottom. It's five or six different colors. It is just like cheap sunglasses that you get at the gas station. These come in three sizes, or maybe even more. I think it's four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, and seven. I get the biggest one because some of the other ones are just too tiny. This is only three inches long at, at the most. Uh, this catches a wide variety of fish. It'll catch walleye, crappie, bass, white bass, anything that swims, basically. They do make some other good colors, but this is the best color that I've found. It's that cheap sunglasses. My third pick was the Berkeley Flicker Shad, number seven. Chartreuse Tiger. Got an orange bottom, silver side with black stripes, and a yellow top. Um, the reason I like this lure is when I was on vacation, I managed to keep that thing the whole time uh, for a, for a two-week period and probably caught 50 fish on it, and it never seemed to get hung up. I think for some reason, the way it swims possibly prevents it from getting hung up a lot. And I also like it because it has the, the hooks are bent in. They're already circular hooks, uh, which tend to keep the fish from getting off so easily. All right, that was, that was three. Number four is definitely gonna be the old and reliable Bomber Model A. It's a, I think it's a 4A, it goes four to six feet. It's the black and white, looks just like a, just a generic shad basically. It's half black, half white. The reason I like it so much is because it can be fished in clear or muddy water or sunny or cloudy, it does not matter. No matter what, then fish are either gonna see the white or the black. It can be used in any condition when I go to a, a strange water, or I don't know if it's gonna be sunny or cloudy or muddy or clear water or whatever, you can always throw that lure and you're gonna get something. It's a good way to start out. Bomber, the Bomber Model A is, is it's old, but it's reliable. It always catches fish, always, especially that color. They do have other colors that are, are pretty good too, but that. If I had to pick one color, it'd be that one because it's a good go-to uh, color. My 
Uh, number five is. I'm gonna get the stuff out of here. Number five is the Rapala Tail Dancer. Very expensive. They're twelve dollars a piece, but to me they're worth it as long as you're using it in a spot where there ain't a lot of snags. What makes this bait unique is it uh, about three quarters of the way down its body, it gets real narrow and it bends down. When you're reeling this in, it causes the lure to do this. It sways really wide back and forth. I prefer the hot chub color. These come in a really, really wide variety of sizes. They have five, seven, and nine on the regular sizes, and then they got seven, nine, and eleven on the deep models. The deep models get as long as seven inches long and go 30 foot down. That particular model I was just holding is just the smallest size, it's a size five. I can't remember the depth, but I think it's like six to ten feet. All right, my number six lure. This is the one I had the trouble choosing, but I decided to go with the regular Rapala Shad Wrap in the color of Purple Descent. This one is not available in most stores. You have to order this one as well. But I don't know what it is about this purple. I didn't really get into purple much until this year uh, but it's a shad wrap number seven which is the second size up I don't like the smallest version it's just too light this one tends to cast a lot further and goes a little deeper down just the regular old shad wrap purple descent that was my number six pick all right I hope this was helpful for you and in, in helping you decide on some baits to use and uh, be sure and hit that like button and please subscribe.